From thence I went to another place of the earth, and he showed me a mountain range of fire which burnt day and night, and I went beyond it and saw seven magnificent mountains, all differing each from the other, and the stones thereof were magnificent and beautiful, magnificent as a whole, of glorious appearance and fair exterior, three towards the east, one founded on the other, and three towards the south, one upon the other, and deep rough ravines, no one of which joined with any other. And the seventh mountain was in the midst of these, and it excelled them in height, resembling the seat of a throne. And fragrant trees encircled the throne, and amongst them was a tree such as I have never yet smelt. Neither was any amongst them, nor were others like it. It had a fragrance beyond all fragrance, and its leaves and blooms and wood wither not for ever. And its fruit is beautiful, and its fruit resembles the dates of a palm. Then I said, How beautiful is this tree, and fragrant, and its leaves are fair, and its blooms very delightful in appearance. Then answered Michael, one of the holy and honored angels who was with me, and was their leader. And he said unto me, Enoch, why dost thou ask me regarding the fragrance of the tree? And why dost thou wish to learn the truth? Then I answered him, saying, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. And he answered, saying, This high mountain which thou hast seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is his throne, where the Holy Great One, the Lord of glory, the Eternal King, will sit, when he shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. And as for this fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it till the great judgment, when he shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its consummation forever. It shall then be given to the righteous and holy. Its fruit shall be for food to the elect. It shall be transplanted to the holy place, to the temple of the Lord, the eternal King. Then shall they rejoice with joy and be glad, and into the holy place shall they enter, and its fragrance shall be in their bones, and they shall live a long life on earth, such as thy fathers lived. And in their days shall no sorrow or plague or torment or calamity touch them. Then blessed I the glory of God, the eternal King, who hath prepared such things for the righteous, and hath created them and promised to give to them. And I went from thence to the middle of the earth, and I saw a blessed place in which there were trees with branches abiding and blooming of a dismembered tree. And there I saw a holy mountain, and underneath the mountain to the east, there was a stream, and it flowed towards the south. And I saw towards the east another mountain higher than this, and between them a deep narrow ravine. And it also ran a stream underneath the mountain. And to the west thereof there was another mountain, lower than the former, and of small elevation, and a ravine deep and dry between them. And another deep and dry ravine was at the extremities of the three mountains. And all the ravines were deep and narrow, being formed of hard rock, and trees were not planted upon them. And I marveled at the rocks, and I marveled at the ravine. Yea, I marveled very much. Then I said, For what object is this blessed land, which is entirely filled with trees, and this accursed valley between? Then Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered and said, This accursed valley is for those who are accursed forever. Here shall all the accursed be gathered together who utter with their lips against the Lord unseemly words, and of his glory speak hard things. Here shall they be gathered together, and here shall be their place of judgment. In the last days there shall be upon them the spectacle of righteous judgment, in the presence of the righteous forever. Here shall the merciful bless the Lord of glory, the eternal king. In the days of judgment over the former, they shall bless him for the mercy in accordance with which he has assigned them their lot. Then I blessed the Lord of glory, and set forth his glory, and lauded him gloriously. Chapter 28 And thence I went towards the east, into the midst of the mountain range of the desert. And I saw a wilderness, and it was solitary, full of trees and plants, and water gushed forth from above, rushing like a copious watercourse which flowed towards the northwest, and caused clouds and dew to ascend on every side. And thence I went to another place in the desert, and approached to the east of this mountain range. And there I saw aromatic trees exhaling the fragrance of frankincense and myrrh, and the trees also were similar to the almond tree. Chapter 30 And beyond these I went afar to the east, and I saw another place, a valley full of water, and therein was a tree, the color of fragrant trees such as the mastic. And on the sides of those valleys I saw fragrant cinnamon, and beyond these I proceeded to the east. 
and I saw other mountains, and amongst them were groves of trees, and there flowed forth from them nectar, which is named Sarara and Galbanum. And beyond these mountains I saw another mountain to the east of the ends of the earth, whereon were aloe trees, and all the trees were full of stacti, being like almond trees, and when one burnt it, it smelled sweeter than any fragrant odor. Chapter 32 And after these fragrant odors, as I looked towards the north over the mountains, I saw seven mountains full of choice nard and fragrant trees and cinnamon and pepper. And thence I went over the summits of all these mountains, far towards the east of the earth, and passed above the Erythrean sea, and went far from it, and passed over the angel Zotiel, and I came to the garden of righteousness. I, and from afar off trees more numerous than I, these trees, and great two trees there, very great, beautiful, and glorious, and magnificent, and the tree of knowledge, whose holy fruit they eat, and no great wisdom. That tree is in height like the fir, and its leaves are like those of the carob tree, and its fruit is like the clusters of the vine, very beautiful, and the fragrance of the tree penetrates afar. Then I said, How beautiful is the tree, and how attractive is its look? Then Raphael, the holy angel, who was with me, answered me and said, This is the tree of wisdom, of which thy father old in years, and thy aged mother, who were before thee, have eaten. And they learnt wisdom, and their eyes were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they were driven out of the garden. Chapter 33 And from thence I went to the ends of the earth, and saw their great beasts, and each differed from the other. And I saw birds also differing in appearance, and beauty and voice, the one differing from the other. And to the east of those beasts I saw the ends of the earth whereon the heaven rests, and the portals of the heaven open. And I saw how the stars of heaven come forth, and I counted the portals out of which they proceed, and wrote down all their outlets of each individual star by itself, according to their number and their names, their courses and their position, and their times and their months. As Uriel, the holy angel who is with me, showed, he showed all things to me, and wrote them down for me. Also their names he wrote for me, and their laws and their companies. Chapter 34 And from thence I went towards the north to the ends of the earth. And there I saw a great and glorious device at the ends of the whole earth. And here I saw three portals of heaven open in the heaven. Through each of them proceed north winds. When they blow there is cold, hail, frost, snow, dew, and rain. And out of one portal they blow for good. But when they blow through the other two portals, it is with violence and affliction on the earth, and they blow with violence. Chapter 35 And from thence I went towards the west to the ends of the earth, and saw there three portals of the heaven, open such as I had seen in the east, the same number of portals and the same number of outlets. Chapter 36 And from thence I went to the south, to the ends of the earth, and saw there three open portals of the heaven, and thence there came dew, rain, and wind. And from thence I went to the east, to the ends of the heaven, and saw here the three eastern portals of heaven open, and small portals above them. Through each of these small portals pass the stars of heaven, and run their course to the west on the path which is shown to them. And as often as I saw, I blessed always the Lord of glory. And I continued to bless the Lord of glory, who has wrought great and glorious wonders, to show the greatness of his work to the angels, and to spirits and to men, that they might praise his work and all his creation, that they might see the work of his might, and praise the great work of his hands, and bless him forever.